Oh, there it there is. he goes. This morning, groundbreaking mind to movement technology, giving people with spinal cord injuries like Angie Donaldson the ability to move and even feel again for the first time in years. You're going to play the piano with your brain. Yes. <laughs> It's done using a cutting edge brain computer interface or BCI at the University of Pittsburgh and UPMC Rehabilitation Institute. And the BCI can actually record activity from their brain, interpret patterns of activity to understand the intent that the person's trying to communicate and then turn that into a signal for an external device. The hope is that someday BCIs can help people with spinal cord injuries at home by restoring lost mobility or feeling. Angie is the newest study participant. She was paralyzed from the chest down after a fall down the stairs in 2019, her life changing instantly. Your independence, it's essentially gone. I have to rely on someone to help me get in and out of bed, shower, um, get dressed. It's, it's a lot. The injury traumatic and isolating, but Angie, now 52, has found solace here at the lab. She says it gives her purpose. I'm inspired again. I feel hopeful again um, because it, this technology is just going to get better. And if they can get the technology of sensation going in our hands, eventually it, it could be your, your bladder, it, it could be your legs. It, it, we're, just, we're just starting. 39-year-old Nathan Copeland can use his brain to move this robotic arm. In fact, he's the longest working study participant at the lab. 11 years. Firm grip. <laughs> and now, since the car accident that paralyzed him from the chest down 21 years ago, Nathan is once again mm -hmm. able to experience the sensation of touch. It feels like my middle finger. People have really focused mostly on the ability to move, but we know from lots of evidence that if you can't feel things, you really can't move effectively. I think it's kind of definitely dreamlike just thinking about something and it's happening. For Good Morning America, Will Reeve, ABC News, Pittsburgh. Just incredible oh, yes. technology. Nathan and Angie say that this study gives them purpose now. They may never see the full benefits, but their efforts move science closer to a future where these devices can actually be used at home. Yeah. And what a world of a difference yeah. they'll mm -hmm. make.